someone asks you what you do, and I can proudly say, listen, I save lives. That's, that's the best, it's awesome feeling ever. We have to be ready to fight death for our patients. We have to fight for the patient's life out there, any time, during the day, night, doesn't matter. We've got to be ready. You know, the, the body of knowledge is forever growing and evolving. By using a critical thinking approach in our training, it really positions the graduates to take a critical thinking approach to their patient care. Did a bit of um, job shadowing with St. John's that time, and we actually had a recess, and I thought, geez, this, this is awesome. Like, saving someone's life, what, what, what could be more honorable and what could be more rewarding. I came to work for Year 24, actually in this space, East Petro. After that, they gave me the opportunity to go study um, intermediate life support. So, went to Joburg, the college, finished that, came back, worked for one or two years. Then they gave me the opportunity to study for the advanced life support. I took the chance and here I am today. Our graduates are, are at the mid-level tier, and that's the National Diploma in Emergency Medical Care. And the goal of the qualification is really to equip a graduate with a variety of skills to be a, you know, an accomplished, critical thinking, problem-solving graduate who can go out into the profession and provide advanced skill sets in comparison to other practitioners in a variety of settings. The focus is, is pre-hospital care, but it's well suited to the environments they might be exposed to, whether that be in an urban environment, where they may be based on an ambulance, to perhaps a more remote setting where you know, certain healthcare resources aren't as readily available. How else can you describe it? It's just awesome. Well, when you're busy with it, it's daunting. It's, it's, it's nerve-wracking. It's, geez, so a million things running through your mind. Um, but when it's done, it's, it's, it's a rewarding feeling on its own. You don't need anyone to say thanks or anything like that because you just can give yourself a pat on the back. Patients alive, patients in hospital, that's what we want. You know, what we really envision for our, for our graduates is that when they arrive at, at someone's door, they don't just see the clinical picture, but they also meet the patient's emotional needs in what is, for the patient, a very chaotic and distressing time. You have so much more scope and so much stuff you can do for, for, for a patient. You don't want to feel stuck or you don't want to feel helpless when you're busy with a patient and you can't fix that something that's wrong with the patient. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible feeling. Imagine driving 20 kilometers to hospital and patients thriving in pain. Yeah. You're going to feel horrible. The higher you go, the more you can do for the patient. It's all about that rewarding feeling. Being on the NQF really allows graduates to further develop themselves in certain avenues which might not have previously been available. But there's really greater opportunity, I think, for both the business and the employees to develop themselves as, as lifelong learners. Each morning you can't wake up without a smile. The fact that uh, when I go to work, I might save someone's lives today.